Section 2.6, Writing Conversion Factors. Many problems in chemistry, engineering, and medicine require you to change from one unit to another unit. For example, suppose you spent 2.0 hours on your homework and someone asked you to how many minutes this was. You could answer 120 minutes. You must have, have multiplied 2.0 hours times 60 minutes per hour because you knew that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. One hour equals 60 minutes. The relationship between the units, hours, and minutes is called an equality, which means they both measure the same quantity. When you express 2.0 hours as 120 minutes, you did not change the amount of time. You only changed the measurement that you used to express the time. Any equality can be written as fractions of called a conversion factor, with one of the quantities in the numerator and the other quantity in the denominator. Be sure to include the units when you write the conversion factors. Two conversion factors are always possible from any equality. Two conversion factors for 60 minutes equals, 60 minutes equals an hour. 60 minutes over one hour or one hour over 60 minutes. These conversion factors read as 60 minutes per one hour or one hour per 60 minutes. The term per means divide. The relationship may also be written as 60 minutes per hour. Some common relationships are given in 2.7. It is the important the equality you select to form a conversion factor is an actual relationship between the two units. The numbers of any equality between two metric units or between two U.S. system units are obtained by definition. Because numbers in a definition are exact, they are not used to determine significant figures. For example, the equality of 1 gram equals 1,000 milligrams is defined, which means that, that both of the numbers 1 and 1,000 are exact. However, when an equality consists of a metric unit and a U.S. unit, one of the numbers of the equality is obtained by measurement and counts towards the significant figures in the answer. For example, the equality 1 pound equals 4.53.6 is obtained by measuring grams in exactly 1 pound. This is an equality, and a measurement quality of 4.453.6 has four significant figures, whereas the 1 is exact. An exception is the relationship of 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeters, where 2.54 has been defined as exact. Metric conversion factors. You can write a conversion factor for any of the metric relationships. For example, from the equality of meters and centimeters, you can write the following factors. One meter equals 100 centimeters. 100 centimeters per meter and one meter per 100 centimeters. Both of these conversion factors represent the same equality. One is just the inverse of the other. The usefulness of conversion factors is enhanced by the fact that we can turn a conversion factor over and see its inverse. The numbers 100 and 1 in this equality and its conversion factors are both exact numbers. Metric U.S. system conversion factors. Suppose you need to convert from pounds, a unit in the U.S. system, to kilograms in the metric or SI system. The relationships you could use is 1 kilogram equals 2.205 pounds. The corresponding conversion factors would be 2.205 pounds per kilogram and 1 kilogram per 2.205 pounds. In the metric U.S. equality, the number 2.205 is obtained from the measurement of exactly 1 kilogram. Figure 2.9 illustrates the contents of some prepackaged foods both in the U.S. and metric units. Conversion factors with powers. Sometimes we use a conversion power that's squared or cubed. This is when the case when we need to calculate the area of volume. Distance equals length. Area equals length times length, which is length squared. Volume equals length times length times length, which is length cubed. Suppose you want to write the equality and conversion factor for a relationship between an area of square centimeters and, and in square meters. The square, the, to the square of the equality, one meter equals 100 centimeters, we square both the number and the unit on each side. Equality, one meter is 100 meters. One square meter of area is 100 square centimeters, or one square meter equals 100 square centimeters square.
From this new equality, we can write two conversion factors, one meter squared per 100 centimeters squared and 100 centimeters squared over one meter squared. In the following example, we show that the equality one inch equals 2.5 centimeters can be squared to give an area or cubed to give volume. Both the number and the unit must be squared or cubed. Area one inch squared equals 2.54 centimeters squared and one inch cubed equals 2.54 centimeters cubed. Equalities and conversion factors stated within a problem. Inequality may be stated within a problem that applies only to that problem. For example, the cost of one kilogram of oranges or the speed of car in kilometers per hour would be specific relationships for that problem only. However, it is possible to identify these relationships within a problem and write corresponding conversion factors. From each of the following statements, we can write an equality and its conversion factor and identify each number as an exact or give it significant figures. 85 kilometers per hour is 85 kilometers per hour or one hour per 85 kilometers. 85 is measured, has two significant figures, the hour and the one and the hour is exact. One tablet of 500 milligrams of vitamin C. One tablet equals 500 milligrams of vitamin C, so 500 milligrams of vitamin C per tablet, and one tablet per 500 milligrams of vitamin C. Conversion factors from a percentage, parts per million, or parts per billion. A percent is written as a conversion factor by choosing a unit and expressing the numer numerical relationships of the part of this unit to 100 parts of the whole. For example, a person might have 18% body fat mass. A percent quantity can be written as 18 mass units of fat per every 100 units of body fat, body mass. Different mass units such as grams, kilograms, or pounds can be used, but both, both uh, units in the factor must be the same. 100 grams of body mass per 18 grams of body fat and 18 kilograms of body fat per 100 grams of body, kilograms of body mass. When scientists want to indicate very small ratios, they use numerical relationships called parts per million or parts per billion. This ratio of parts per million is the same as the milligrams of a substance per kilogram. The ratio parts per billion equals micrograms per kilogram. So parts per million is milligrams per kilogram. Parts per billion is micrograms per kilogram. For example, the maximum amount of lead that is allowed by the Food and Drug Administration in glazed pottery bowls is two parts per million, which is two micrograms per kilogram.